But what I want to speak to you about before is a program, a foundation that I've spoken to you about previously. It's the Australian Aboriginal Indigenous, Indigenous Education Foundation. And it's been a remarkable organisation over the past decade, essentially getting Indigenous kids from around this country and sending them to great schools and supporting them through those schools into university education. I'm joined on the desk now by Michelle Penfolds, who's the co-founder and director of the, the AEIF, and also Chris O'Donnell, a graduate, and uh, Paula Rose Bassett. Thanks uh, for, for joining us, gang. Let's, um, I'll come to uh, your experiences as uh, graduates in a moment. But, Michelle, first off, tell us about uh, 10 years of the, uh, Aboriginal of the Australian Indigenous Education Foundation. How many kids have gone to school? What have been the consequences? What's the success rate? Uh, and where are you headed? Sure. Thanks, Chris. Um, so, um, we started in 2008 with just one scholarship. And uh, for the last couple of years, we've had 500 kids attend about 30 leading schools around the country. And um, this year, the class of 2018, we'll have another 70 to 80 graduates. And that means that for the first time in our history, we'll have more young people who have finished school, um, over 600, than are currently at school. So, so you're talking about 500 kids who are some are remote areas, but certainly not all. They come from the, the cities and regional areas as well. But uh, kids who might have not had really good educational options... You've been able to send them to boarding schools. Is it always boarding schools? Uh, yep. uh, just so, give us, a, give, give us a, a, an idea of the support you give them, what, what they get out of it. Yep. So, um, basically, we're offering young people um, the opportunity for a quality education. And we're not sending them. It's actually their families and their communities who are begging for this opportunity because where they are, they don't have access to quality education. And so our, our program was set up in response to that community demand of families, grandmas, aunties, uncles siblings, cousins, who see, see the value in, of an education and how that can be life-changing. These young people uh, go to those schools. Over 90% have stayed at school and completed each year 12, each year of our existence. Um, our last year's uh, statistic is at 94%. And then once they finish school, we have programs which these young people have been part of, which help them transition from a quality education into further education and the careers of their choice. So they're taking... The, the choices that they want, their families are, are given a choice in education and then they're given the choice to follow a career to make our, our country a better nation. Great stuff. Paula Rose, tell us your story then. You're from Queensland and, and, and uh, what are you studying now? How, how has this changed your life? Yes, so I study a double degree of law and social work at UNSW. Um, I think AAF helped me actually to know what I wanted to study. Um, after high school. They helped me all through high school and then they continue to help me while I'm at university. Um, and I think it's definitely something that um, I'm doing because I want to help my people. Um, and, yeah. I've it. spoken to a lot of uh, graduates previously, teachers, nurses, lawyers, uh, doctors, so they're, they're looking to get back and contribute to their communities, mm -hmm. uh, which is great if they want to. But, of course, there's no need to. You can just go off and, uh, uh, and, uh, and make the most of your life. Chris, you're already working in the banking sector. Yes, I am uh, in the spotlight uh, at the moment, but yes. it's, a, it's, a, it's a good place to be. I'm really enjoying the opportunity that I, that I have at the moment. Um, you know, paying back the guys who at AIF, I'm forever indebted to the opportunities that, that they've given me. Um, and, and obviously my family has been a, a massive s support as well. So... Now, the, uh, the foundation, apart from obviously you know, helping with school fees, getting you uh, th through to university, uh, what else? Uh, do you have mentors? Are there people that you can look up to, role models who help you through? Tell us how that works. Yeah, I guess uh, in, in, my, um, in my experience, I've had mentors through AIF. Um, they sort of, you know, give you an opportunity to work out where you want to go and what you would want to do. I guess in, in my situation, it was an internship um, at, at a a leading bank, a uh, leading international bank. So it's a bit more of a, a try before you buy. You sort of get to bounce different ideas off different people and, and that, learn from their experiences. Being quite young, you need to leverage off the, these, the older people and the more experienced ones in this case. So. I see you uh, nodding Paula Rose. Is that, is that, is that important? You, you knowing that there's other Indigenous uh, teenagers, kids in this same boat and you're all, you've got someone to lean on? 
Yes, definitely. Um, I keep in close contact with um, the entire AAF team um, and it's good. A lot of them just um, come and check up on my mental health as well as like my education, which is a big thing for myself and my, and my people. And so um, I'm so grateful for that. And yeah, definitely they give me a lot of opportunities and just always constantly check up on me um, in all areas of my life. Look, um, do you see yourselves as role models or kind of... Uh, it's annoying to ask that because basically, you know, you just got to go, go ahead and make a success of your life. But when you're in this program, do you, do you find that you are role models for other people in your community? I wouldn't look at myself as a role model, but, but you definitely take on that sort of uh, big brother role or in, in some capacity. The younger kids coming through nowadays, they, they do want to ask you questions. They want to find out how you found it moving away from home, living in the big city, um, going to work and... You know, your That's own the big thing. You're, you're both uh, uh, from regional areas, so uh, have you had family uh, in in the city, Paula Rose? Is that yeah, yes. Yeah. So my mother's family is actually from Redfern. Oh right, I grew up, yeah, I did grow up down here. Um, but yeah, I think about your role model question. Um, I'm really surprised about how many um, Indigenous young girls actually message me. Um, and told me how like um, inspiring I am sometimes, just for you know continuing on um, to university because a lot of people um, in their families as well as like my family actually didn't have an um, an opportunity to like have a great education. So I well, that's fantastic. Good. Great to hear that. And thanks for coming in, Paula Rose and Chris. Really appreciate you Thank sharing you. your stories with us. And Michelle, congratulations on everything the foundation Thank does. You. Good luck to you. You can have a look at it. Find the website. If you're running a company, you're in a business, you want to chuck in some dose, get some sponsorship, help out the foundation, the Australian Indigenous Education Foundation. Fantastic foundation, helping so many Australians. Ten years old, going strong.